Hello, friends, and good day. This is Fred with Tech Talk and Wentworth CCTV of New England, and we are coming at you today with a video on how you can adjust the timestamp on your video surveillance picture. Okay, a lot of us have NVRs, DVRs, standalone IP cameras, and this time of year with daylight savings time, oftentimes the timestamp will not reflect the actual time, and that's a huge concern. Uh, if you have an incident, right? Because we want the timestamp to be accurate for, you know, the local authorities or the insurance company, uh, whoever you're making the video for. Okay. It's super important. Your timestamp is accurate. So if your timestamp becomes inaccurate as a result of daylight savings time, and it might not be daylight savings time, some of these recorders over time, um, they'll, they'll lose track of time. They, they lose, you know, 10 seconds, say every six months, um, or every three months. And you've had it for four or five years. And before you know it, the time's half an hour off. So the way we fix this is we connect the hardware to what is called a NTP server. Okay. Network time protocol. And what that does is it allows your camera or your recorder to check with that server every 30 seconds, every minute, to make sure the time's accurate, right? Pretty awesome. There's no reason why you wouldn't do that. And you can also set it up uh, so that it will adjust the time uh, during daylight savings, right? The second uh, Sunday in March and the first Sunday in November, uh, we want the recorder time to adjust accordingly. So to do this, again, we connect the recorder to the NTP server. It's a relatively simple process. We're going to teach you how to do it right now. All right, friends, what do you say? Let's get into the meat and potatoes. Before we do, you know the drill. There is a red subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Please click that and subscribe to our channel if you have not yet done so. That way, you can be notified when we upload future content like this. Also, like the video if it's useful to you. And as always, leave those comments. A lot of this content, these videos are based on viewer and subscriber questions and comments. So yes, this particular recorder, um, the time is in fact off. It is uh, right now 9.26 in the morning. And as you can see, the timestamp on this camera is 6.29, okay? Uh, so we're off. So how do we fix that, okay? Let's get out of large screen here. And again, this is pretty similar whether you're on Hikvision, Dawa, Axis, um, any type of surveillance equipment, right? You're going to go to the configuration settings and in there, um, there's going to be a system. Okay. And in these configuration settings, uh, you will see system settings. Okay. And in the system settings, uh, you will see time. Okay. Right now, um, we have the time zone, right? You know, we are Eastern time, U S and Canada. And when it was set up, whoever set it up, uh, manually sank the time, uh, with the computer. Okay. Which you can do. Um, and, and that will clone the time of the hardware to the time of your computer, which you can see is nine thirty one right here. Okay. So if I wanted to clone that, okay, I could hit sync with computer time, right? And I could hit save. It said it succeeded. So if we go to live view on the camera, uh, the camera time is 9.31, right? The same time as the computer. So we solved the problem. The problem is at daylight savings time, um, the timestamp is going to be an hour off, right? So um, how do we fix that? All right, let's go back into configuration. Under time settings, okay, now it says Atlantic time. I want to change it back to Eastern. We want to switch, okay, we want to switch where it says manual time sync, okay? Before we do that, let's set up daylight savings time, okay? And that's going to be, again, the second Sunday in March and the first Sunday in November. And we are in New England. It is a 60 minute adjustment. All right. So I'm going to hit 
save there. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do now that daylight savings is set up, we're going to go to our network time protocol server, NTP. Um, and you're going to type in zero period us period pool period NTP period org. Okay. The port is one, two, three. Uh, and again, the adjustment is, um, 60 minute intervals. Okay. Um, that's when we want our, um, server and our NVR, um, checking with each other every 60 minutes. And then again, DST is set up. Once you do that, you can hit save. Okay. And we can go to live view. And there we are, Wednesday, 9.33 a.m. So as long as this NVR, um, and again, it could be an IP camera, it could be a DVR. As long as this is connected to the internet, it's going to check with that time server every hour, and it's going to automatically adjust your time, right? You'll never have to worry about time on this recorder again. So as you can see, it's, it's a relatively simple process, but it's something you definitely want to do um, in the event you have a serious incident, okay? Hopefully you enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the field.